Hello everyone. So here we are having a question from NCRT. Uh, so let's read it out. A drunkard walking in a narrow lane. Try to understand the question that there is a drunkard and he's walking in a narrow lane. He moves five steps forward and three steps backward. Okay, try to understand. Five steps move forward and then takes three steps backward. Followed by again five steps forward and three steps backward. And he's moving like this. He's moving five steps forward and then moves back three steps backward, right? So on. And the time taken by uh, for each step is one second. And the distance between the steps, between the each steps is actually, uh, you can say between two steps, is actually one meter. So try to understand it is a little bit complicated just for the uh, language purpose. But it is actually an easy question. Try to understand. So I hope it is clear too. The drunk card is moving. He is taking five steps forward. And then he comes back three steps. So the total steps that actually result in is actually two steps, right? So what we are going to do, we will going to find out the total distance covered by the total steps covered by the drunk card in each time interval. So let's check it out how I'm going to do it because we have to also find out the final answer graphically and by other methods. Now, let me complete the question first of all. We have to plot the xt graph of this motion. xt, you know that xt displacement time graph or distance time graph because he is moving in a straight line path. So definitely both displacement and distance will remain same. Determine graphically and otherwise. We have to uh, find out the final answer by plotting the graph or by any other method. How long the drunkard takes to fall into a pit 13 meter away from the start. So all in all, we have to find out the time taken by the drunk card to cover a distance of 13 meter by using the example uh, given in the question. For example, he moves five steps forward and then take back three steps. So first of all, I'm going to plot, uh, write down the coordinates. A uh, time, this is actually the time which is going to measure in second. And then we are having distance, which will be measured in meter. So in the beginning, what happened when time is equals to zero second, the distance is actually zero meter. I hope you all are with me. Now the next, what happened? He takes five steps forward and the time taken. Yes, you are right. For time taken for each step is actually one second and the length of one step is actually one meter. So the time taken, uh, one more thing that I would like to tell you that most of the students are not aware. What is the meaning of one step? It is the length of the one foot, one's foot. No, that's not. For example, when suppose this is a person, his, this is a drunkard. And when he moves, this is the, these are actually the two feet, right? So basically the distance between these two feet is equals to one step. So now it is clear. What is the meaning by the one step and two step? It is here clear. Yes, one step for an adult person, the distance between the two feet is greater. And for a small child, the distance will be smaller. But he is a grown up guy. I think he must be 18 plus because he is drinking. So uh, the step is actually one meter long. So let's move back to the question time. When time is equal to zero, distance will be zero meter covered. Uh, when you take five step forward, the distance covered will be five meter. Why? Because the each step each step is having one meter of length. And the time taken will be five seconds because each step will going to take one second of its own. So I'm going to write down the total distance covered by the drunk card in moving five steps forward is five meter. And in how much time this happens? Exactly. It is quite simple. Simple. It will take five seconds, right? Next, what will happen? The drunk card take three steps backward. So total distance will be five minus three. That is two meter. Okay, got it. And the time taken will not be subtracted because it will going to add up. So five plus how much? Three. So this is coming out to be eight seconds. In the next step, what will happen? He further moves five steps forward. So the final answer is two meter. He, we will going to add five further. So it is coming out to be five plus two. It's seven meter. And how much time it will take for five steps? Definitely it's correct. Five seconds. So when I add eight plus five, the answer coming out to be 13, right? 13 seconds. Try to understand we have to do the, all this calculation unless or until we get uh, 13 meter because this is the final answer that we have to do, right? So let's do it further. Now what happened right now we have added five step forward. Now he will comes back three step. So next step three, seven minus three, which is equals to four meter, but time will add up. So 13 plus three is coming out to be 16 seconds. Now I hope you're getting my points what I'm going to convey. So uh, let me also write down the coordinates so I can tell you what I plot on the graph. So these are the coordinates. So you can see 0, 0, quite clear. The next one is 5, uh, 5, 5, 5. The next one is uh, 8, 2. I hope it is clear. 
Next is 13 comma 7, right? Remember the first coordinate representing the time because we plot the time on the x-axis. That's why the x-coordinate is like that. So next one is 16 comma 4, right? So it is quite clear. Now we will move. Now what happened? We move uh, three step backward. Now he will move five step forward once again. We will add four plus five, which is coming out to be nine meters, correct? Now time will always be added. So 16 plus five will coming out to be 21 seconds. Now what happened next? Next we will subtract three because he will comes back three step backward. So nine minus three is equals to six meter. So time will again gets added up. So 21 plus uh, how much? How much? Yes, 21 plus 3. So it is coming out to be 25 seconds. So that's it. It is coming out to be 6 meters. So we have to move something like that again. Actually, I don't have the space to do it, but definitely I'll do it for you so that I would uh, let you know the okay, answer is correct. So next what happens? Uh, now he moves backward 3 steps. Now we will add, I'm going to write it here, 6 plus 5. So it is coming out to be 11 meter and 25 seconds are there. What is that? 25 or 24? I think it's 24. I have written incorrect. So it is 20 because 21 plus 3 is 24. So I'm going to 24 plus 5 coming out to be 29 seconds. Okay, got it. So 25 plus 24 plus 5 is equals to 29 seconds. Now next is uh, 11. Now he will come three step backward. So 11 minus 3, you all know that 11 minus 3 is 8. 8 meter. So uh, 29, this is actually 29, 29 plus 3, 29 plus 3 is 32 seconds. Now what happens next? 8 plus 5, because we have to take 5 step forward also. So 8 plus 5 is actually the answer that we are expecting. That is 13 meter. So what is the time? 32 plus 5, that is 37. So I hope you could see that at the time of at the time of 37 second he will be able to cover 13 meter and the moment he covers the 13 meter distance he will fall into the pit so this is how we have done this question by using our uh, algebraic you could say this algebraic or logical statement whatever but right now we have to find out the same exact same answer by plotting this on the graph paper okay so what i have done i have already created the coordinates like that now let me do it 24 comma 6 so this is the coordinate here we will have the coordinates also so this is 29 comma 11 next is uh, 32 comma 8 and next is uh, 37 comma 13 so basically i hope it is clear to each one of you so let's plot all these coordinates on the on a table so that we will be able to plot it so i have plotted it already so i hope it is clear to each one of you whatever the coordinates that you can see on the screen we have already calculated now i have also plotted the graph using these things and the graph is something looking like this i hope it is clear to each one of you yes i know this is quite brighter because i could not be able to turn the dark mode on this light so i hope the graph is quite clear to each one of you let me explain the graph first of all so what is happening here at the beginning coordinate zero zero then he take five step forward and time taken is also five. Then he comes backward, then he move forward, then comes backward, move forward, comes backward, move forward, comes uh, backward and then moves forward. And I hope you can see that I have clearly said the coordinate is 37 seconds. You can see 35 here, then 36, then 37. So 37 seconds. And uh, here you can also see this is 10, 11, 12 and 13. So we have to find out the time taken to cover a distance of 13 meter. So in how much time the 13 meter is completed is 37 seconds. So the correct answer of this question is in how much time the drunk card fall into the pit, which is 13 meter away, the answer is 37 seconds. I hope it is clear to each one of you. Thank you very much.